until now, money will never be another issue for me. And that was an issue for most of my life because I didn't know what I did know and I thought I knew. So one you have to do is that you have to have a mindset development strategy where you are deliberately taking an hour every day listening to a motivational message. Every day, here's something else. This is why you're fighting right here. Listen, kid, there's going to be time in your life where people are going to try to rain on your parade. They're going to try to tell you what you can and what you can't do. Don't ever say you're okay. Okay is not going to make it for you. It's time to stay driven. It's time to stay hungry and continue to down the path which you are going out. Go through the process in the dark room that prepares us and equips us for the stages of destiny. It's time to get rid of this time to get. Well, it's time to look ourselves in the mirror and come to the resolve that this version of ourself is not going to carry us in the stretch that I've been this version of myself. Long enough that if I don't change if I don't do something about this, then I'm going to find myself bankrupt. Read 10 to 15 pages of something positive every day. Why? And read it with conviction and, and stay focused. 10 to 15 pages every day. This is seven days a week? Absolutely. Absolutely. Every day, McDonald's know that you know where they are. Burger King know that you know where they are. But every day they have some advertising. They have billboards. They have radio. They have television. Why? Because by exposing you to those messages, that will begin to impact your behavior. But this is why you're fighting. You fight for them. You fight for all them nights you watch your mother sit on the edge of that bed and cry almost every night. Well, you and your brother, they couldn't do anything and it hurt you, you remember? Listen, I don't want you to ever forget why you're doing what you're doing. You gotta understand, there's so much greatness that lives inside of you and if you just get through this and continue to fight, there's greatness on the other side. And I understand that you may be in the dark today but doesn't the beautiful roses of the field begin in the dark? And it will drive you into the place to purchase what they're advertising. Now you're advertising for your greatness. And faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing. So you want to listen to positive messages every day. You do this, I'm telling you. Your life will never be the same again. And read 10 to 15 pages of something positive every day. I read two to three books a week. Why? Because I have goals and dreams of things I want to achieve. I want my life to count. I want to make a greater impact. At this stage of my life, I'm working on my children's 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 education. A good man leaves a legacy for his children's children. So I'm working on their education at this point in my life. And as I begin to look at myself in order to achieve more and to do more, I know I have to work more on my mind. And let me give you an example how this works. The most money I've ever earned in an hour and a half, $260,000. That's the most money I've ever earned in an hour and a half. A lot of people work a whole month and don't do that, or six months. Then, and this is the next thing I want you to do. What you gonna do? You gonna give up or you gonna keep going? What is it that stands behind that? passion, purpose, desire that has you waking up every single day to go get what's yours. Because my faith is bigger than the size of a mustard seed. And whatever it is that stands behind that passion, purpose, and desire that has you waking up every single day. What is it? What is it that gives you unwavering conviction to go get what's yours? To do what you want to do? Because there was a point in my time in my life where I didn't have a faith in myself, where I didn't believe in myself then. Some of the most monumental and transformational portraits and pictures that we've ever seen were developed in the dark room. We celebrate athletes and we celebrate critical thinkers and innovators and actors and we praise them and coin them. Our heroes and we follow them by the millions. We love what they do in public, but you don't have the story behind the glory.
and the world today, we find ourselves in many different positions. There are many people out here that just don't understand exactly what it is that they want. And we continue to go down this path all the time. You go through it, I go through it, many people go through it, they just don't have a clue about where they want to go in their lives. But are you prepared to do it? Do you have what it takes? Are you willing to give everything you have? Are you willing to set aside people that don't really matter in your life? Are you going to stop holding on to the excuses? Are you going to stop holding on to the misery and the sorrows and all of these things that won't elevate you? People were opposing you, but you kept on doing it. It was hard, it was rough, it was difficult, but to you it was worth it. Fight the temptation of weakness. Get up and go. Do it quickly, without thought. Do not reason with weakness, you cannot. You must only take action. Get up and go. If you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will. I'm in control here. I'm coming back. And I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You don't know the blood that sweat you. Didn't see the tears that they cry, the prayers that they prayed the countless. Weeks where they went without sleep to. Get where they are one of the greatest tragedies in life is to live. And not know why you're living. I'm just wondering if there's anything. Here that wants their future that wants to fill their destiny that wants to manifest, that wants to walk in discipline and determination. Society is struggling right now. Many people are struggling right now. But that doesn't mean you don't stay hungry. Let this be a lesson. If you're hurting right now, if you're struggling right now, that doesn't mean that you're out of the fight. You just gotta stay hungry. You gotta stay determined. You gotta have wisdom. You gotta have patience. You gotta make sacrifices. Whatever it takes, you gotta keep moving. Stay hungry. When you sit at the table, satisfy that hunger and then get up and go for seconds. Go for thirds if you have to. But be determined and stay hungry. Believe in yourself each and every day of your life. Because there's only so much time that we all have. Don't waste it on nonsense. Be productive. Be strong. Be powerful. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy. When you want to change, it's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. I'm going to turn this situation around. I'm not going to sit back and, and moan and cry over what happened and what went wrong and who did what. I'm going to do something about this situation. When I'm broken, I relish it. I'm going to use it. If I'm broken, then I just found my limitations. And until I know what my limitations are, how can I push them? How can I get better? You've got to put in the fuck time. And it's got to be active patience, aggressive patience. You have to understand that it's going to take time, but you also have to do every thing that you can during that time to make sure that you're successful.
this right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through Sky on your mind. 